वेलकम देयर यू आर वॉचिंग रियल सेवर्स न्यूज आई एम रुचि राणा एंड इन दिस न्यूज सेगमेंट वी विल अपडेट यू विद प्रिवेलिंग क्राइसिस ऑफ वॉर स्ट्रक सीरिया March 15 the Syrian civil war will enter its 8th year meanwhile more than 465000 Syrians had been killed in the fighting over a million injured and over 12 million half the country's pre-war population have been displaced from their homes here is the story of the conflict you need to know Violence escalated and the country descended into civil war as rebel brigades were formed to battle government forces for control of cities towns and the countryside Fighting reached the capital Damascus and second city of Aleppo in 2012 by June 2013 the UN said 90,000 people had been killed in the conflict By August 2015 the figure had climbed to 250,000 according to activists and the UN The conflict is now more than just a battle between those for or against Mr Assad. The rise of the jihadi group Islamic State has been a further dimension. Hundreds of people were killed in August 2013 after the rocket filled with the Norwegian and Serin were fired at the several suburbs of Damascus. Western powers said it could be only have been carried out by Syria's government but the government blamed rebel forces facing the prospect of US military intervention president Assad agreed to complete removal and destruction of Syria's chemical weapon arsenal the operation was completed the following year but the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapon has continued to document the use of toxic chemicals in the conflict More than 4.5 million people have fled Syria since the start of the conflict. Most of them are women and children. Neighboring Lebanon, Jordan and Turkey have struggled to cope with one of the largest refugee migration in recent history. About 10% of Syrian refugees have sought safety in Europe, sowing political divisions as country argue over sharing the burden. A further 6.5 million people are internally displaced inside Syria. 1.2 million were driven from their homes in 2015 alone. What began as another Arab Spring uprising against an autocratic ruler has mushroomed into a brutal proxy war that has drawn in regional and world powers. Iran and Russia have propped up the Alwate-led government of President Assad and gradually increased their support. Syria is turning into an arena for three new proxy conflicts. In the south, Israel is facing off against Iran. In the northern region of Afrin, Turkey is fighting the Kurds. Meanwhile, in the eastern province, Syrian democratic forces are pitted against Russian-backed Syrian armed forces. The protest erupted in March 2011 in the southern city of Dara after the arrest and torture of some teenagers who painted revolutionary slogans on a school wall. After security forces opened fire on demonstrator killing several more took to the street. The unrest triggered a nationwide protest demanding President Assad's resignation. By July 2011 hundreds of thousands were taking to the streets across the country. Opposition supporters eventually began to take up arms first to defend themselves and later to expel security forces from their local areas. There are no signs of the civil war in Syria ending anytime soon. 
The crisis in the country has seen millions of its citizens becoming refugees in neighboring countries. Even as the crisis continues, many aid groups have been helping people in the war-torn nation. Among them is the Khalsa Aid International, whose volunteers have been responding to similar crises across the world. The humanitarian relief effort for Syria refugees are also being loaded. Even celebrities expressed a range of emotions and urged their followers to consider donating to the non-profit organizations currently working in the Syria. बच्चे देखो तानु बच्चे नहीं फोटो आ देखे तो हम दुख लगा वो बच्चे आपने बच्चे और गया और जो तो मैंने कोई पूछ दा पे ये तुष्य हेल्प कर दे हम ये बच्चा जो है पे सीरियन बच्चे होन राकी बच्चे होन वो बच्चे सानु अपने आप देश देगा साथे अपने बच्चे सानु देश देगा बच्चे ने कि गलत नहीं आके तो नहीं उपेन ना प्यार दें दे या बड़े खोश हों दे या उसे साना खेल दे या सब तो डर दे नहीं ये सारा स्कूल बॉर्डर से लेबनन बेचिया वो बॉर्डर दिन आल स्कूल या इन्हा प्यार कर दे होने सानू देख के पगवाने बड़े खोश हों दे पर तुसी फेब वापस आ गए साना उसे गेमा खेल दे या ये ही दुनि� बस यही देश अंदर प्यारी देश अंदर ऐसी यूनिसेफ डी यूनाइटेड नेशन एजेंसी फॉर चिल्ड्रन इश्यूड अ मोस्टली ब्लैंक स्टेटमेंट टू एक्सप्रेस डी आउटरेज ओवर डी कंटिन्यूड सफरिंग ऑफ सीरियन चिल्ड्रन डी स्टेटमेंट वाज रिलीज्ड एस एड एजेंसीज एंड मॉनिटरिंग ग्रुप्स सेड दैट मोर देन हंड्रेड in what was described as one of the bloodiest 24-hour period of Syria's seven-year war. UNICEF released a mostly blank statement in the response. has left a quarter of million people dead and 12 million people homeless. Fighting in Syria has unleashed one of the worst humanitarian crises in modern history, uprooting half of the nation's population. The show was intended to provide understanding of the complexity of the war and the number of powerful external countries participating, while the loss of life in the conflict has gathered much attention and sympathy and still left with no solution to resolve the issue the first step toward forming appropriate policies to better recognize the complexity of this problem. That's all for today. For more news updates from India and across the world, keep watching Real Favors News. Till then, take care.